For Regina Mtonga, the internet is a little bit of freedom. She says it makes people more self-reliant, which is especially important for women in Zambia. Regina is 27 and a self-employed web designer. I went to college and I started. Uh, I studied a degree in computer science, which had zero to no experience in websites. It's only later on two years that I taught myself how to make websites through YouTube videos and also my husband taught me a few things and I did the rest. Now Regina is passing on her know-how. In 2012, she founded the Asikana Network with two friends to teach women IT and computer technology. They faced daunting obstacles. It's very difficult for women to, first of all, enter into IT and remain in IT because we, we get a lot of hate talk and hate behavior from people because the first thing people will tell you is, you can't do that because you're a woman. Regina hasn't had it easy. In 2013, her father and mother died within a short time of each other. She was left to care for herself and her younger sister. <laughs> I felt like God had taken my mom away, and I honestly felt like he was punishing me for something that I had. I, I, I couldn't understand <laughs> anything that could possibly go bad was going bad in, in my life. January 2014, I must honestly say that my life did change. It was a change for the better. A year later, her work finally gained recognition, and from very high up, too. Someone called Fabi and called, and she said, Regina, I just wanted to be the first one to tell you uh, you have been selected to be one of the 60 Queen's Young Leaders, the first 60 Queen's Young Leaders of 2015. And a guard came to ask me why I was making so much noise, and I told them, I'm going to meet the Queen, the Queen of England. I'm going to meet the Queen. She's been very busy ever since. Yes, why? Because you don't seem like someone who's talking. Regina has become a role model for many young women in Zambia. Depends on how much you save per month and what you're doing. They come to her classes to learn how to run their own businesses. I think I can do it in a year. Something I've noticed about them is that they have felt so empowered that they feel they no longer have to be working a nine to five job for someone else but they tend to want to work for themselves, and it has been very successful for them. We have some very good examples of girls who are their own bosses now, making more money than I am. Regina and her network have achieved something crucial, to show Zambian women that they can have control over their own lives.